If you could count for a year, would you get to infinity or somewhere in that vicinity? Introduction to the axioms of probability, we'll talk about some of the basic terms and rules. Sample space, that's all possible outcomes of an experiment. An event is just a subset of the sample space. So let's take the experiment of flipping a coin. Getting heads could be one event, tails another event, and together would make up the entire sample space because that would be all outcomes. Let's say we have event E and F and E is getting two of a kind and F is getting a flush. The event G, which could be E union F, means that either E occurred, F occurred, or both E and F occurred. The event G, if it's made to be E intersection F, sometimes known as EF, is when only both of them occur. And this is clear in a Venn diagram. The left is E union F, the right is E intersection F. And the event G that they, I guess, represent now, only occurs in the highlighted areas. Now, let's say E is four of a kind and F is a, getting a straight. As you can see in the Venn diagram on the right, they really don't intersect. And intersecting them, you'd get a null event, which is that symbol with the zero crossed out. E and F, therefore, are mutually exclu exclusive, which means when one happens, the other really can't happen. So just some rules for intersections and unions. They're commutative, associative, and distributive. So just take a look at distributive. If you do E union F, intersection G, you could do E intersection G, F intersection G, and then union them together, and you'll get the same answer. These are what we're really used to in mathematics, and really shouldn't be anything new, but it is good to review these rules and just take a quick look to make sure that we get them. So if we have an event E, its complement is E to the C, and E to the C consists of all outcomes in the sample space S that are not in E. So, e to the c is really, in essence, not e, everything that e is not. This really makes sense in the Venn diagram. The red is e, and the green is e to the c, and the sample space s really is the union of both of them. If all outcomes of e are in f, then we say that e is contained in f, and we use the symbols in the top right, and you can use them in any order. So e is contained in f, is really what it says in both, and you can really see that in the Venn diagram. Now, keep in mind that if E is contained in F, and F is contained in E, then really F and E are the same event. Let's take a quick look at De Morgan's Law, which is an interesting relationship between unions, complements, and intersections. So left-hand side really means that if you have all the, these events, this set of events, and then you take the complement, so everything that's not in this set of events, that's the same as taking the complement of each one of those events and intersecting them with each other. And the second line is really the reverse of that idea. I hope that's logically straightforward. If someone likes, they can leave a video response showing some Venn diagrams illustrating this idea. And if nobody does and it's still a problem for some people, I can leave my own video response. So next time, we should really be getting into the axioms of probability. Yes, try as you may, you just can't get away from mathematics.